Hello everyone, The Thin Veil here. If you like what you hear, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also don't forget to leave your thoughts down below about any of the stories. Now, let's dive right in. Today, we delve into the enigma of Kuldahara village in Rajasthan, India, a place abandoned and shrouded in mystery for nearly 200 years. But what secrets does this ghost village hold? Let's uncover the chilling secrets beneath its sands. Kuldahara, established in the 13th century, was once a flourishing village, inhabited by the Paliwal Brahmins. Known for their advanced agricultural techniques and business acumen, this community transformed the arid land into a virgin oasis, becoming a jewel in the crown of Rajasthan. For centuries, Kuldahara thrived, its people living in harmony with the land. The village was a labyrinth of beautifully crafted homes, temples and step wells, a testament to the ingenuity of its inhabitants. Life here was peaceful, dictated by the rhythms of nature and tradition. But one fateful night, in the early 19th century, something inexplicable occurred. The entire population of Kuldahara and reportedly 83 nearby villages vanished overnight. No trace, no explanation. They disappeared, leaving behind a ghost village. What could compel an entire village to abandon their homes? Legend whispers of a dark tale, a tale of tyranny, an unjust ruler casting a malevolent eye on the village chief's daughter, which led to the villagers deciding to leave their beloved homes. As they left, they uttered a curse, condemning Kuldahara to eternal abandonment. This curse, folklore says, lingers to this day, making Kuldahara a hotbed for paranormal activity. Visitors have reported a strange phenomena that defy explanation. The sound of footsteps in empty lanes, faint whispers in the dead of night, and even the chilling sensation of being watched by unseen eyes. Many have spoken of seeing apparitions, ghostly figures, that appear and disappear like smoke. The most common sighting is that of a young girl, believed to be the chief's daughter, wandering the ruins in a state of eternal unrest. Her presence, always felt but seldom seen, adds a layer of tragic mystery to Kuldahara. Researchers and historians have posited various theories, a seismic event, a water crisis, perhaps political upheaval, yet None can fully explain the sudden coordinated exodus of an entire community. And none can rationalize the chilling, inexplicable events that visitors encounter. The media, drawn to this desolate village, seek to capture the essence of the curse on camera. Yet they often leave with more questions than answers. The mystery of Kuldahara remaining as elusive as ever. During their nighttime exploration of the village, the NDTV crew reported a series of unexplained phenomena, strange noises like whispers and footsteps, when there was clearly no one around. The crew also mentioned feeling a heavy, uneasy presence throughout their time in the village, as if they were being watched by unseen entities. In a particularly spine-chilling moment, the crew thought they saw fleeting shadows moving between the ruins, although they couldn't find anyone or anything that could have caused them. Despite being seasoned journalists, some crew members admitted feeling genuinely frightened by these experiences, which they could not rationalize or explain. As we walk through the deserted streets, we feel the weight of history, the echo of a community that once thrived here. Was it fear, honor, or something beyond our understanding that led to this mass exodus? Perhaps the answers lie buried beneath the sands, or maybe they were never meant to be uncovered. Kuldahara remains a sentinel of silence, its curse a chilling reminder of the past, haunting us with its ghostly presence.
Now, let us tread into the haunted corridors of Ponarch Fort, a name that echoes with the whispers of the past. Nestled in the Rajasthani landscape, Ponarch Fort is not just an architectural marvel, but a vessel of unspoken horrors and mysteries. Established in the 17th century by King Madho Singh, Bhanark Fort was a symbol of power and prosperity. But beneath his grandeur, a shadow loomed, a curse that would doom the fort and its inhabitants. Legend has it that a sorcerer skilled in black magic fell hopelessly in love with the beautiful princess Ratnavati of Bhanark. Knowing his love would never be reciprocated, he tried to ensnare her with a love potion. However, the princess, aware of his dark intentions, thwarted his plan. Enraged, the sorcerer cursed Bhanark, condemning it to its desolation and ruin. Since then, Bhanark Fort has been ensnared in a web of supernatural occurrences. Visitors and locals speak of an ominous ambiance that clings to its ancient stones. By day, it's a ruin, a relic of the past. But as night falls, it transforms into a realm of the paranormal. Tales of ghostly apparitions abound. The most chilling is the specter of the princess herself, seen wandering the ruins, her beauty marred by a look of eternal sorrow. Her presence is often accompanied by a fragrance of royal perfumes, wafting through the air with no discernible source. Then, there are accounts of strange noises, the clanging of armor and whispering voices, as if the fort's long-dead inhabitants are still conversing in the shadows. Some have even heard the ethereal music of court dances, a haunting melody that fades as quickly as it appears. One group of visitors recount a chilling encounter. While exploring the ruins at dusk, they felt an inexplicable drop in temperature, followed by the sensation of being followed. Turning around, they glimpsed what appeared to be a shadowy figure vanishing behind a wall. No amount of searching revealed anyone else present. Another account comes from a group of thrill seekers who visited the fort, hoping to debunk the ghost stories. Their skepticism quickly turned to belief when they heard the unmistakable sound of footsteps in the royal chambers where no living soul was present. Their recording equipment, which had been functioning perfectly, mysteriously malfunctioned at that exact moment. Researchers and paranormal experts are divided. While some attribute these occurrences to the fort's tragic history, and the power of suggestion, others believe that the curse of the sorcerer continues to cast a dark spell over Bonerg. Media coverage has further fueled the fort's eerie reputation. Numerous TV programs and documentaries have attempted to demystify the phenomena, often leaving with more questions than answers. The fort's allure has drawn thrill seekers and ghost hunters from all over the world, all in search of a brush with the supernatural. As we navigate the crumbling pathways of Bonerk Fort, we're reminded of the thin veil that separates legend from reality. Was the fort doomed by a spurned sorcerer's curse, or are these stories a mosaic of folklore and imagination? The truth remains buried in the silent stones of Bonerk. We might never know the truth, but one thing is certain. As night descends, the fort whispers of a past that refuses to die. A haunting reminder of the power of curses and unrequited love. Let's dive into one of the most captivating tales of Indian folklore as we explore the chilling legend of the Churail, also known as the Witch of Bengal, a figure that has haunted the nights and minds of many. The Churail in the tapestry of South Asian folklore stands as a spectral embodiment of vengeance for the wronged. She represents the spirit of a woman who faced a tragic or unnatural end, often due to societal injustices, particularly those inflicted upon women. Her story is not just a tale of supernatural terror, but also a symbol of cultural fears and taboos surrounding women and death. Cloaked in deceptive beauty, the Churail's true form is revealed at dusk, characterized by her distinct inverted feet, a stark contrast to her alluring facade. She roams the rural heartlands of Bengal, where traditions whisper through the banyan trees, 
seeking retribution. To the villagers, she is both a figure of fear and fascination, often described as hideous and malevolent, a grotesque mask of her former self. By day she remains invisible, but by night she reveals her true form, luring unsuspecting victims with her enchanting appearance. Terrifying accounts of encounters with the Churel abound. Tales tell of a young man lured into the darkness by her beauty, never to be seen again, or of eerie wails echoing near the site of an ancient injustice. These stories, while chilling, speak volumes about the sorrow and anguish embedded in her legend. Researchers and folklorists are drawn to the Turel's legend as a reflection of societal dynamics, while some view her as a symbol of resistance, giving voice to the oppressed, others see in her story the deep-seated fears of a community. The media often adds sensational layers to her tale, appealing to modern audiences with horror. Yet, beneath these dramatizations lies a poignant narrative of historical injustices. As we delve into this legend, we find ourselves navigating a path that intertwines cultural understanding with the allure of the supernatural. The Jorail story passed down through generations is a grim testament to the enduring power of folklore in shaping our perceptions of the unknown. Is she merely a spectral figure of folklore, a manifestation of collective fears, or does she wander the Bengal countryside as a restless spirit seeking retribution? The answer remains as elusive as a Churail herself, shrouded in mystery, a haunting reminder of the dark corners of our world where legend and reality intertwine. Next, let us take to the skies for a bizarre event that baffles the mind. The enigmatic phenomenon of Jathinga, a small village in Assam, India. Here, amidst the serene landscapes, lies a puzzling and macabre occurrence known as the Jathinga bird suicides. Jathinga, with its lush greenery and tranquil ambiance, is like any other picturesque village in Assam. However, as the monsoon season wanes, between September and November, the village witnesses an eerie phenomenon. On moonless and foggy nights between 6 and 9.30 pm, birds inexplicably dive to their deaths. The story of Jatinga's bird suicides began to unfold to the outside world in the early 20th century. Though it is believed to have known to the local tribes for generations, it was during the British colonial era in India, around the 1900s, that this bizarre occurrence first caught the attention of the broader public. British officials and naturalists, intrigued by tales of birds plummeting from the sky in the small Assamese village, embarked on expeditions to witness and document this phenomenon. The first documented observations were made by Edward Pritchard Gee, an esteemed naturalist, in the early 1960s. G's initial reports and subsequent studies by ornithologists brought Jathinga to the attention of the global scientific community. They were baffled as they witnessed the birds, which normally fly safely even in darkness, dive headlong into buildings and trees, seemingly dazed or disoriented. Local villagers who had long observed these occurrences had their own explanations rooted in folklore and superstition. They believed that evil spirits hovering in the skies were responsible for this macabre event. To ward off these spirits, villagers would light up bonfires and beat drums which, unbeknownst to them, further disoriented the birds. One legend says the villagers burnt three women alive when accused of black magic and witchcraft. Could this be these three women taking their revenge? This phenomenon has been observed for over a century with locals and travelers alike witnessing flocks of birds plummeting, disoriented and crashing into buildings and trees. The types of birds vary, but they all share the same tragic fate in these hours of darkness. The intrigue of Jatinga has not just captivated the locals, but also drawn scientists and researchers from around the world. Many theories have been proposed, from the birds being attracted to the village lights and becoming disoriented 
to changes in magnetic fields or even toxic gases released from the earth. Yet, none of these theories completely explain why these birds, many of which are not nocturnal, engage in such self-destructive behavior. Only in this specific area and under such specific conditions. The birds, seemingly in a trance-like state, continue this fatal plunge year after year. Coverage of this event has brought Jathinga's mystery to the global stage, with documentaries and reports exploring this strange occurrence. The phenomenon has become a subject of both scientific study and paranormal speculation, blurring the lines between natural and supernatural explanations. As we ponder over this perplexing event, we're reminded of the complexities and mysteries that nature holds. The Jatinga bird suicides, while a topic of scientific inquiry, also resonate with the eerie and unexplainable aspects of our world. I wonder, what drives these winged creatures to such a tragic end? Is it a quirk of nature, an unseen environmental factor, or something beyond our current understanding? The mystery of Jatinga remains unsolved. A haunting reminder that there are phenomena in this world that defy easy explanations, leaving us in awe of the mysteries that the natural world veils. From the skies of Jatinga, let us move into the heart of Delhi, where amidst the urban sprawl lies a sprawling woodland shrouded in mystery and fear, Sanjeevan. This dense forest, often dubbed as Delhi's haunted forest, is a place where the line between the natural and the supernatural seems to blur. Let us venture into the eerie tales that cloak these woods. Sanjeevan stretches over 10 square kilometers. A green lung in the midst of the city's chaos. By day, it is a haven for nature lovers and bird watchers. But as night falls, the forest transforms and a different side of Sanjeevan emerges. The most persistent and chilling tale is that of the woman in a white sari, a spectral figure who is set to haunt these woods. Numerous visitors have reported seeing her, a ghostly apparition that appears and disappears without a trace. Some say, She's a benevolent spirit, while others whisper of a more sinister presence. She is said to be the restless spirit of a woman who met a tragic end, shrouded in mystery and draped in white, symbolizing purity or unresolved sorrow. Legend has it that she wanders the forest, eternally searching for something or someone, perhaps a lost love or seeking justice for betrayal. Those who claim to have seen her describe sudden appearances and vanishing acts often accompanied by unexplained chills or the faint sound of weeping. This enigmatic apparition embodies the forest's mysterious aura, a symbol of Sanjeevan's rich tapestry of myths and a reflection of deeper societal narratives. While her true story remains elusive, shrouded in the mists of lore and time, the Lady in White continues to captivate the imagination, a haunting reminder of the forest's hidden depths and the enduring power of legend. Her legend is not the only eerie tale to emerge from Sanjeevan. The forest is dotted with centuries-old graves and mausoleums, remnants of Delhi's rich history. These ancient relics are said to be the epicenter of paranormal activity, with reports of strange noises, unexplained movements, and even ghostly figures seen wandering near them. The forest's dense foliage and the lack of light make it an ideal setting for these ghostly encounters. Many who have ventured into Sanjeevan at night speak of an overwhelming sense of being watched, of an unexplained chill that pervades the air, and of the sudden onset of fear without any apparent cause. Researchers and paranormal investigators have been drawn to Sanjeevan, attempting to unravel the truth behind these stories. While some dismiss the tales as urban legends, others believe that the forest holds secrets that are yet to be uncovered. 
The media has played a significant role in popularizing the haunted lore of San Jevan. Television shows and documentaries have featured the forest, often dramatizing the ghost stories to capture the audience's imagination. This has only added to the mystique and allure of San Jevan as a destination for those seeking the thrill of the paranormal. As we thread through the shadowy paths of San Jevan, we're left to ponder the thin veil that separates myth from reality. Is a forest merely a backdrop for urban legends, or is there something more, a hidden truth that lurks in the shadows of these ancient woods? In the silence of San Jevan, with the whispers of the past rustling through the leaves, the forest seems to hold its secrets close. It remains a haunting enigma, a place where tales of the supernatural continue to thrive and captivate the imagination.